plate. Ha. Good. 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 Over. Place. Ha. Hey. Place. Good. See? So you see some confusion there. Over. Place. Ha. Uh -uh. Place. Now. Hey. Come here. That way. Place. Hey. Ha. Uh -uh. Look at me. That a boy. Good. Over, place. Now, over here. Hey, go. Now, out. No. Look at me. Come here. Come. Come. Play. Good. Over, place. Good. Now you see it faster, right? Good. Over, place. Good. Good. Come. Heel. Between. Place. Ah. Uh -uh. That way. Good. Good. Over. Place. Atta boy. Now you're getting it. Good. Over. Place. Atta boy. Yes. There you go. Good. Good job, Luca. You can take a look at Luca. Good. Okay. Whew, it's cold. All right, guys, check it out. So you saw all the confusion there, right? So this is the first time I did that exact exercise with him. And so when I do something for the first time, I like to film it if I can so I can show people. So basically all I'm doing is doing things he knows very well, but I provide it in different pictures, right? I show it to him in different ways. And so you saw, he is so driven by the bite sleeve, the bite wedge, anything that he could bite, it becomes completely, his head's not clear, he can't think, and he gets confused. So I knew he was gonna get confused, but I wanted to show you guys that. So when he goes the wrong way, I just tell him, uh-uh, he knows that means no, you're not doing what I want, and I just regroup, okay? So within, I don't know, 30 seconds a minute, then you start to see he gets what I want because we have that communication system already built there, guys. So even though we had the, the confusion there, he catches on what I want really quick. So I make him go a few times. He starts getting faster. He can run by the bite wedge. I bring him to me and then I send him to the place. He gets a little confused. I tell him, no, that's not what I want. That's a big part of dog training, guys. A lot of people will say, why didn't you put the e-collar on him and correct him when he went for the bite sleeve. For me, that's not dog training. That's not what I want. I'm not gonna correct the dog for doing something he doesn't know he's not supposed to be doing. There's confusion there, okay? So it's my job to provide the communication as clear and precise as I can until he catches on. Then we can practice that specific exercise and after a while, if he decided he wanted to go to it, then I can correct him. But listen, I don't do, you don't have to. You don't have to. Too many of you folks, guys, especially the young trainers, you're sending me stuff daily to look at. You're doing a great job, but too many of you are turning to the tools too fast. Too fast. You're relying on tools too much. You have to learn how to train a dog with nothing. And then when you add the tools, they're, they're able to be utilized to, to the way they're supposed to be. It's going to help you a lot. And again, where you guys are struggling, you're not learning how to train working dog stuff. And if you're a pet dog trainer, if you want to achieve the best possible results that you can, you guys have to learn how to utilize the working dog stuff, guys. You have to have both for the best results. So many of you are doing so well. If you start focusing on learning the working dog side of things, it's going to just blow up for you. I promise you. You have to learn this stuff. So here you saw confusion first time we do something new because it's a new picture to him. He knows hand signals. He knows place. He could do it from far to right. He knows all this stuff. But as soon as you provide it in a new picture, there's confusion. And then you add the drive of the bite wedge, total chaos, right? So good training, you want to let him know, that's not what I want, buddy. I want you to do it this way, and it happens very fast. That's dog training. Peace.